Hello, collective. Divine blessings to you and yours. Welcome to my channel. Luminous Ascensions Tarot. Today I'm going to do a collective reading. It does not matter what zodiac sign you are. This is for every and anyone. Please remember to flip and switch the rows as needed when listening and applying this to your situation. If this is not your situation, please do not force or make assumptions towards the reading. Also keep in mind, gender does not matter in Tarot. So I could say she could be he, I could say he could be she, they, them, does not matter. Gender is not important, energy is. So like I said, flip and switch to roles as you need to. This is going to be a timeless reading, so whenever you hear it, you are meant to hear it. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And we are going to get started with the collective. Remember, it does not matter what zodiac you are. This is a message for everyone, what we all could be going through. So I have what's brewing and what's the tea deck mixed together. Got them on Etsy if you're interested. Um... So let's get started. This is full of some juicy tea, so we're gonna see what comes out and hopefully we get some good, get some good stuff here, okay? So let's go. What do we have for my collective? What do we have for the collective spirit? Spirit guides, spirit angels, ancestors of the white light, may you please communicate me to help channel the messages that my collective needs to hear. Nightmares. So, nightmares, insomnia, paranoia, anxiety, unable to sleep, sees things under eye bags. Oh my goodness. Giving money. Okay, what else, Spirit? What do we have for the collective? For the collective. What do we have for the collective? having trouble sleeping at night okay caught up Ooh, Lord. okay so we have caught up finding evidence getting caught cheating someone could have got caught up oh goodness someone that you blocked on social media okay so someone could have been giving someone money and they still got caught up. Someone could have been sleep. Oh. Okay. Someone could have ran into their worst nightmare and uh, they were sleeping with this person, giving the money, and now they got caught up. And they're trying to block this person on social media to stay away from them. Oh my goodness. What in the world is here? I hope y'all not all come. I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh, but this is all. Oh my God. Okay. I'm bothered. Looking you up. Researching you. Studying you. Getting info. So this person could realize that they're li they're dealing. Okay, I was gonna say dealing, but living was coming out. So living or dealing with someone that is their worst nightmare, and they're giving money to this situation. They could be paying someone's bills, or I don't know, some way financially taking care of them. And they could have caught this person cheating. And now they're blocking them out. You have no idea about this. You're unbothered. But they're looking you up now. Like trying to get information about you. Trying to. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh man. Ain't shit. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. 
Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm in love. Uh, whoever this is, you know, the cards, the cards don't lie. Person could be going bankrupt. Shine, your light irritates their demons. Yeah, riding it out unfazed. You're doing your own thing. You are like so unbothered with this entire, entire situation. You're not even thinking about it or worried about it. Wow. Ain't this something right here? Anything else for it? Wow. It came out again. Unfazed. You are not even worried about any of this shit that's going on. You probably don't need am writing out came out again. What? That was confirmation. Thank you, Spirit. Writing out and on phase. You're in your own zone, in your own world. You're riding the wave. Like you chilling in your own. Block this person. Especially if you caught them cheating and giving money to other people. And now they're stuck not sleeping at night, possibly having nightmares about what they did. A lot of anxiety that they'll never get you back. And you're unbothered. And they're over here watching you in some way. But you know they ain't shit. Wow. Wow. This is funny. Anything else? Anything else? Hater. <laughs> so you got a hater, hater alert. Who hating on y'all? Somebody trying to force? Forces things on you, forces their way in, uses force to get what they want. So someone's trying to force you to be with them and you're like, no, I'm good. I'm, mm -mm. See, you know already. You already know the tea. Red lipstick stains. You know that this person is out there doing their own thing and evidence of cheating. So you got two things of cheating here. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Salt or sugar, be careful. They both look the same. Looks can be deceiving. I'm, okay. And this is, this came on top of unbothered in the reverse girl fight, arguments, physical fight at war competing. Okay, this person could be dealing with someone that's looking at you as competition, but you're unbothered. You don't even give a crap about this situation. And that's why it came out in the reverse because you don't even know. You possibly don't even know this person's trying to come at you or feel some type of way about you. You don't even know about this whole situation. You just know that you walked away from it because you know that this person is what? Ain't shit. So you're out there doing your own thing. And yeah, this person, somebody wants to fight you. But you're like, who are you? You're not even worth my fight. You or you're that person that... Male or female, male or female, remember, you're not worth the battle, and he or she is not worth me fighting for. Yeah, so you guys can go that way with that energy. Oh, Lord. Ain't that some? Okay, let's get some tarot out here. I'm also probably going to use another deck that I have that I made myself, like, from index cards. I made it a lot. So I'll probably get those out here, too. Get some, like, more details. So we got Six of Cups. This is a lot. But someone from your past, I will say that. Someone from your past misses you. That's probably why they're having these nightmares. You realize what the hell they've done. What do we have? For? Okay. Yeah, somebody that was juggling you are very imbalanced. The world. So you could be at a distance from this person or you could be moving away from this person. Also feel like you're starting new cycles. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, or Scorpio. But this person could have been juggling you. Or this person's very imbalanced and... Mm -mm. Especially if they're giving money to people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so we have five of wands. So it could have been a lot of conflict around this person. It could have been friends and family. Also, this person could have been giving money 
to friends and family and and there's a lot of conflicts about it knight of pentacles in the reverse so i feel like this person's not taking the time to think of what they're doing knight of pentacles is usually very very slow this person could be trying to take action towards something possibly offering you some type of offer what's giving money what is giving money here for the collective for my collective what is giving money two of swords two of wands you could be seeing two two or two 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 aligning and balancing yourself but this is either someone in your energy or you it definitely could be at a distance because you see the world here and then the van. So someone could be traveling to come see you. Someone's coming your way. Or this could be you going towards your life path or where you want to go. You have two choices. But someone could also be very guarded or, or confused and conflicted about which way they should go. They're possibly stuck in a situation that they feel like they want to get out of and go to their their life path. But there's something about giving money that's involved in this situation. What is giving money, the two of wands and the two of swords? What is this? What do we have for the collective? Eight of swords. Someone that's refusing to see the truth about a situation. Someone that's just blindfolded and they're allowing themselves to stay stuck in a situation. They don't want to see the truth about a, something. Something that's going on. They don't want to see the truth about something. Okay. What do they not want to see the truth about? What do they not want to see the truth about? A Queen of Wands, possibly. A Leo, Aries, or Sag. Ace of Cups. Going towards new love. Or it could be this Leo, Aries, Sag is cheating with someone that they love someone new that they love they want to offer their cup to someone else and they, someone got caught up in the situation mm. or they could want to move towards a queen of wands leo or sagittarius and they find her very Sexy, very sensual, but they also find her mysterious. And there's something about her that they can't see, that they're refusing to see. Possibly they want to offer this person a cup of love and this person's like doing their own thing with other people. Okay, what is caught up? Please tell me what is caught up. Yep. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for that clarification. This Queen of Wands could possibly have a King of Swords and then a King of Wands in the reverse. So, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Leo, Aries, Sag. Uh, let's see. So, one of these options could be someone very wise, very intelligent, makes head over her decisions. I'm getting an old soul too. And like I said, very wise because I see this owl. King of Wands in the reverse. King of Wands in the reverse. Goodness. Someone that's... This could be the person that got caught up. Because King of Wands in the reverse energy is someone that's very 
promiscuous with sex, very lustful, will sleep with whoever they want to and don't give a fuck about the consequences. Uh, one that chases passion. He could be very sexy and handsome and everything, but at the same token, it's like, he ain't thinking about the consequences of what he's doing when he's doing it. Who is this King of Swords? The star could be dealing with an Aquarius or you could have Aquarius in your chart. The star, the hangman, could be dealing with the Pisces. I'm also getting, thank you, Spirit. This could be the same person, honestly. This King of Wands in the reverse and King of Swords. And this person could have been in this type of behavior before. And he started to realize what he was doing and how he was presenting himself to anyone that he really wanted to take seriously. Especially if he got caught up cheating and this came to the light. Um, now he's stepping away from this type of energy. He's releasing this type of energy and he's trying to step into being more mindful of who he is and who he wants to be, reflecting on his behavior, logically thinking about what he really wants in his energy and in his future. And he could see you as this star. And he knows that, you know, you're the one for him or her, him or her, doesn't matter. But they feel stuck. This person feels stuck. You or your person feels stuck. Or they could see you in some type of fame, being a star. And they're sitting here stuck and knowing that they messed up, knowing that they lost a good opportunity with you. I'm also getting someone's going through healing. This person could be going through healing, especially, okay, especially if this person got caught up. And ain't no telling how bad that situation got, what they got from there, and you know. They're going through some type of healing, of realizing what they were doing, how they were treating people, how they were bringing themselves into the table. Nobody's going to want to deal with that type of person. So they're changing their ways. Thank you. They're going through a transformation. They're putting a death to the old way that they were, and they're going through a transformation. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. Or this could be you putting a death to this situation with this person because you found out what they were doing and you block them out. You are refusing to deal with them and communicate with them. You don't want to deal with this. And you're probably focusing on new love. Okay, what is blocked? What is blocked for the collective? What do we have for the collective? Knight of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, you're possibly not even passionate about this person no more. You're not even looking at them no more the same. You lost the passion within this situation. Or this is your person that lost passion about someone that they were wanting and dealing with. And they left you on the back burner. You moved on. You released it. You're unbothered. You're doing your own thing. And now they're starting to realize they're not even passionate about this person. They don't even really want anything with this person. So they're putting a death to it because they know that you're their star. Six of Pentacles. They want to have an equal give and take. They could have also been breadcrumbing you or somebody else that was in this situation. Mm. Three of Wands. Now they're planning and strategizing for some type of victory. The Emperor could be dealing with an Aries. Yeah, because they're stepping into their power now. So yeah, they're planning and, and strategizing as they're stepping into their power to try to hand you over a situation that's equal give and take now. Because they're not passionate about whatever this situation was. They blocked it out. They blocked them, that person on social media. They don't even want to deal with that person anymore. 
So they're trying to come your way. Why? Because you're this empress. You have Taurus or Libra in your chart. They're realizing they fucked over an empress. And what? You're unbothered, honey. That's definitely empress energy. You are unbothered. You are doing your own thing. You ain't worried about no... Mm. Let me be nice. I'm going to be nice. I'm going to be nice. I'm going to continue. What is unbothered in the empress? What is unbothered in the empress? How do you got this together? Yeah, okay. Two of Cups. What else? It's a lot. Okay, so you're the magician. So someone wants to have some type of manifestation with you of love. This could be a new person or old person. Um, maybe you're not even wanting love right now. You're not even bothered with thinking about love. You're just focusing on your own energy and nurturing yourself, loving yourself, taking care of you and your needs and wants, pampering yourself. That's beautiful energy. You could be pregnant or you could be getting pregnant or you could find out about a pregnancy and you just, that's another thing where I'm getting for unbothered. You could have found out about a pregnancy and you block this person out and now you don't want nothing to do with them. You're focusing on your manifestations and finding some real love, true love that can come to you. Or like I said, this could be you and this Empress energy. And someone wants the Two of Cups with you. They could also see you as a, a master of manifestations. You know, you know how to manifest. You get what you want. You don't sit back and, and wait for it to come to you. To you. you go get it. Ace of Wands. Yeah, someone wants a passionate new beginning with you. So trying to manifest a way back to you to have this passionate new beginning with you because they want this love with you. They see you as true love. Okay. What is looking you up? What is looking you up? The wheel in the reverse. Mm. It could have been a karmic cycle, some type of karmic soulmate I'm getting. It was supposed to have been over, but yet they're still trying to come back in your energy. Even though you blocked it out, you don't want nothing to do with this situation. They're still trying to hold on to you. They don't want to let the wheel turn and just keep moving. No, they want to continue this cycle. Spirit is saying that if you go back to this cycle, it's going to be the same shit. Nothing's going to change. This is toxic. And nothing is going to change about this situation. It's going to keep being the same karmic cycles over and over and over and over same hamster wheel shit you'll be jumping in the hamster wheel going around and around and around getting out getting water and then taking a little break and then going right back in the wheel do, 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 do. same shit so what's looking you up the lovers there could have been a choice between two and this person possibly chose the wrong person and then stuff about that person came to the light and now they're coming your way for a passionate new beginning. <sighs> you could be dealing with a Gemini. You could have Gemini in your placements. But I'm also getting from this that this could definitely be um, a high-level soulmate as well. Or you could be... This could be a karmic soulmate. Because we've got the wheel in the reverse and then the lover. So karmic soulmate. Someone that you had many past lives with, but it, there was some type of karma attached to it that you had to learn from. But I'm also getting that once someone releases this situation and lets go, you could be stepping into meeting your high-level soulmate or your twin flame. What is looking you up? What is looking you up for the collective? What is looking you up for the collective? What do we have here? Page of Cups. Someone wants to apologize. Could be a Pisces. Okay, I'm not going to take all these, but I'm going to review them real quick. So someone's bored and discontent. They don't want any offers that are coming their way. They could be working on their stability. But they're very materialistic right now. Or they could be holding on to their money. You could also be seeing 444. 
Seven of Wands. You're guided. You're guided. You're divinely protected from whatever is going on. From any type of heartbreak that's trying to come your way. Spirit is trying to tell you you're protected. Or this person could be going through a heartbreak right now because they're seeing that you're protected and you're in your divine energy and you're moving forward. You're not worried about what this person's doing. So they're heartbroken about it, but they're watching you. The moon could be a Cancer or a Pisces. Knight of Swords. They're coming in quickly, though. Ten of Wands, because they feel very burdened. But there, there could be some secrets that are coming out. About some gossip, probably, that was around. Because, you see, these two are howling at the moon. So, when I think of that, I think of, like, gossip going on. Or something that happened at night. Some type of secret. I don't know. Anyways, what's ain't shit? Yeah, you focus on your happiness. The sun, you could be dealing with a Leo. You could have Leo in your chart. But the sun, you're focusing on your happiness because you know that this ain't shit. You know, this is not going to get you anywhere. So you're not even worried about it no more. You're just focusing on moving forward. Or some type of enlightenment is coming to you about this situation or them. Remember, flip and switch the rows. Seven of Cups about some options that somebody had. One of these options could have definitely been a, a snake. Or some type of illusions or confusion somebody was causing on someone. That's getting that's coming to the to the forefront. Someone's definitely gonna find out what's going on. The fool. Could be dealing with an Aries or an Aquarius. Someone wants to take a leap of faith on something. Or someone was in very foolish behavior. Someone was acting a damn fool. Justice. But they want to bring justice to you. Could be dealing with a Libra. They want to come and balance the scales out with you. They want to come towards you and, and fix the situation. Yeah, they're very stuck in their head. Someone's very stuck in their head about this. They can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop battling themselves. And they know they ain't shit too. That's the sad part. Is you know it. They know it. Yet they're still trying to come your way. Yep, you could be dealing with the Cancer, the Chariot. Um, I feel like there could be some type of difference between you and this person. Like one of you could be black, one of you could be white. Um, or interracial couple, you know, come from different cultures, different backgrounds. Or someone could be more spiritual someone could be religious or something about both of you can be different but they're coming your way they're coming your way this could, person could be traveling to come see you yeah because they're stuck in their head they're so like miserable without you they're sad they feel so many burdens because you left thank you spirit yeah you left them out in the cold five of pentacles we have nine of swords, five of pentacles, six of swords. Yeah, you moved away. You left this person out in the cold. You moved away and you isolated yourself from them. You're not worried about this anymore. You're releasing yourself from this. It's not worth your time or your energy. Good. That's good. You know who you are. You don't need to be dealing with these type of people that are getting caught up and looking you up i mean ain't nothing wrong with looking you up because i mean if you if you're a star you're a star so whatever people are gonna watch no matter what you do but if they're giving money to other people i don't know just I don't know. anyways to each his own but let's see what else So we have epiphany. I didn't realize how empty my life was until you left me. Target. I'm strategizing to win. I won't miss my target this time. Regrets. I regret the things I should have done but never did. Trust your intuition. 
runner. I'm not ready to accept what you have to offer. Incomparable. No one has ever made me feel the way you do. You're irreplaceable. Uh, what is Spirit saying? Let them go. Goodbye. Elimin <laughs> Elimination right after let them go. I'm eliminating anything or anyone that could come between us. This could be them doing this, honestly. This could be them in this energy where they finally realize who you are and what you bring to the table for them. Even though you are the fucking table. You are the damn table. But it probably took them forever to open their eyes and see that because they were over here having all these options or doing whatever they were doing. Probably just wanted to be in the energy of enjoying their freedom or doing their own thing. But anyways, decision. I made up my mind. I'm not wasting any more time. Yeah, this person knows. Secret love. I've kept my love for you a secret. It's too complicated to explain and revealing. So they're going to reveal probably to anyone and everyone that they love you. So this person's lo love for you is real. They made the decision. They're letting go of anybody. Yeah, thank you. You see, you got elimination here. They're crossing the people out. And look. These are all their little options. And then they were realizing, okay, you were the one the whole time. And they probably made you feel like you didn't matter. So you let them go and you just kept moving. And now they're deciding to come running towards you because they know that they love you and they want to tell you and the whole world that this is what they want. They're having this epiphany now. Okay. Well, that's interesting let's get some analogy okay what do we have for the collective for the collective So we have your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. So you could be a Taurus or you could have Taurus in your chart and anywhere. Sun, moon, Venus, rising north node or your person. Anything else, spirit? Luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. Your hard work is paying off. So this could be something that you're doing. You're just focusing on your plans and Spirit is telling you you're going to have luck, especially because you're working very hard at something that you're doing. Your hard work is going to pay off. A time to give rather than take. So just give your energy into anything that you want. Look, a win-win outcome is forecast a win-win outcome is forecast so you could be dealing with a libra gemini uh, why did i say gemini you could be dealing with a gemini i accidentally said that but we have libra virgo capricorn taurus and sagittarius so you could have any of these in your chart or your person could have this in their chart sun moon venus rising north node also gemini because i slipped and said it but you have a win-win outcome is forecast and let's get one romance angel and one love oracle. And then we will close. My lovers don't want to go there all over the place. Oh, okay. So it's a lovers oracle. Okay, so it gave us two. And then what do we have? Romance angels. So we have finances and career. Thank you, Spirit, because this is exactly what I was feeling right here. You're focusing on your finances, career, or this could be your person. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And then we have separation. 
So this person could be going through some type of separation and they're focusing on their finances or this could be you separating from this person or whoever's in your energy trying to interrupt what you got what you have planned. And you're removing that because you want to focus on your stability, your foundation, what's going to get you to the next level. So, what else? Past life relationship. You have known each other before. So as I said earlier, this could definitely be a high level soulmate or a twin flame. Okay, and then we have imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Look at that. She's nourishing herself. She's loving herself. You could be getting more in touch with nature, going on walks or, you know, going hiking, something, grounding yourself, getting back in balance with yourself, healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. So you could be focusing on your healing. Or I'm getting that when you two come together, you guys are going to be able to help one another heal things that you've possibly dealt with in the past especially if this is a past life relationship you guys will be able to help one another possibly even build on a on an empire together some type of work situation together finances and career after they separate from someone or you separate from someone or you guys separate from each other i don't know but yeah this is what i got and i hope you liked it so this is the collective reading bye Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment below.